Welcome back everybody to another Dokkan Digest where I take all the news, drama, and fun from the community and I bring it over here to you guys on YouTube. Today we have a very special episode because one YouTuber that disappeared more than six years ago almost at this point has finally returned. And I was actually lucky enough to score an interview with the guy on my live show, Dokkan Digest Live. We figured out a schedule by the way, we'll be live every Tuesday at 1 a- 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Not 1 a.m. But anyway, if you were an active member back in 2017, you probably have heard of Nichigo before. And he has just finally come back into the community after a long, long six years with plenty of support behind him too, which is really nice. So I wanted to score an interview with him. We finally got one. I was very happy about it. Um, very cool guy. Go check out Nichigo's channel. His link will be in the description below. Anyway, enough freaking wasting your time. Let's just get straight into the interview. Nichigo has finally made Talk his comeback into the community. Uh, it's been years since that Beerus tweet, he lied about that. That's okay, though. That's okay. He's back now. That's all that matters. You go, That's so funny. Work? That Beerus tweet has been brought up, but I can't even remember it. Like, I'm sure it exists. I probably said a lot of shit, but I can't remember it at all. <laughs> yeah, you said when LR Beerus comes back, he'll come back to the game. I remember that. I remember that Dang. vividly. I was, uh, I think I was around like... Man, I was in middle school or something like that. And I was like, okay, Nichigo will probably make his comeback once we get an LR Beerus. And then that never that day never happened. Just just Damn, know. Damn, dude. <laughs> you let middle school me down, bro. Okay. I hope you <laughs> Oh my god, my heart's broke. Well, to be fair, I was just finishing high school at that time. So you know. <laughs> that is, it is what it is. And that's nuts. How old are you? Wait, how old are you? I'm actually twenty seven now. Oh my god. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting old, bro. <laughs> That's not that old. Truth is older <laughs> if it makes you feel any better. He's still like he's still like a good seven or eight years older than you are, so it's, it's okay. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the bigger guys, because I mean they've been doing it for a long time now. Um, yes. Yeah, they seem like everyone's kind of entering the thirties. You know, I'm just kind of <laughs> creeping right. Like I'm watching the thirty like come up like pretty soon. <laughs> but no, I was like uh, fifty years old. Yeah, something. Yeah, Beyond, Spikey Bell's in his like 50s or something right now. Yeah, Alan's in his 50s. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But no, I was like 50 in Bulldog, bro. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and there's no <laughs> way, dude. <laughs> okay, how does it feel yeah. coming back into the community? Do you feel like uh, everything's been going well for you so far? Yeah, I mean, it, of course. Like, I mean, the, the response was like amazing. Um, I've met a lot of new people like yourself, Halvard, uh, Alpel, uh, Abu, and, you know, even right now, I guess, Alan Dokon. And uh, yeah, it's like everyone's like super welcoming. I, I do appreciate that. And it does seem like the community has expanded uh, in, in like a really good way. Of course, there's always like that little bit of, I guess, like the weirdos that pop up. Like in every community. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't put a year at this point, bro. It's like a one in 10 statistic at this point. Jeez, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. All I know is about two situations, and I don't know about any other situations. And the only two I know about are from Oni videos. Because, <laughs> you know, thank God he's got those docu series. Otherwise, I wouldn't know anything about the history That's of these so things. That's so fake, man. That's so fake. I'm happy. I, I'm happy. I I started doing that kind of stuff because this this community is so doc shit at documenting anything. Right? They either delete mm -hmm. the tweets, the the or like Twitter does it for them. Like so, I think after yeah. a certain point, like if you're if you're scrolling through Twitter on PC, like it just stops showing people's posts. So like, yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, something has to be done about that. Uh, yeah, like back in my day, like the drama you would hear, like at least the one main drama that I was in for a long time was um, like farmed accounts, like accounts that were just farmed, and you would do summon videos on them. Mm -hmm. oh, and like, basically, what happened, uh, from what I recall, was. I think like people were under the assumption that I was trying to like pose those like like those accounts as like my own personal account and I did the some videos in that way. But if you just watch any one of those videos, at the end of the video I give away the account. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And like I, I guess like, you know, people are like, Oh well, you're making money off the YouTube videos, all that stuff. And again, at the same time, my videos weren't even monetized because I didn't know how to monetize my channel. No so way. wait 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 even wow so did you just recently start getting your channel monetized i'm still not monetized but i was mon oh. i'll tell you when i was monetized uh so around like in the 2017 i was for sure monetized uh, and that's when i like actually i think there was like a little apology video on my channel uh but then once i made the apology like everybody's like dude like what are you apologizing for like all the comments and all the tweets that i got were like bro what are you apologizing? like there's no 
apology here. I think it was just a, a few people trying to start some, you know, what, whatever kind of like drama they wanted to. And I didn't know how to like, I guess, uh, respond to it at the time. And when that happened, yeah, that was basically the only real drama that I was like involved in uh, during my YouTube career. But now it seems like there's people coming up with like things that are actually criminal, <laughs> which is like yeah. crazy to me, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I... <laughs> Drama back then was funny because it started off with like, you know, some dude exposing his credit card or like, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, and now it's like, okay, this guy's a, this guy's a file guy, you know, it, it's fun yeah. drama every so often nowadays, you know, we get the pet ever so and so file uh, every so often. So that's, neat. <laughs> that's terrible, man. That's so bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good to know that, you know, the, the community has been so open to, I, I think it's really cool because it, just last year, I think we had multiple people come back to the community, like Rhyme Style, mm -hmm. just like, well, I don't want to say Rhyme Style came back to the community. He did a video on one and that like, that was huge because, you know, he, I, you could say he was like the grandfather of Dokkan content, right? Like he, yep, yeah, he was the first guy I ever watched yeah. um, in Dokkan battle. So it was really, it was really cool seeing him come back during the worldwide download celebration. And then D3 mm -hmm. also uh, also made a comeback too and started doing Dokkan content semi semi often. Oh, nice! Which, yeah, he was one of my biggest. He was one of my biggest inspirations for getting into YouTube or Dokkan content at the very least. And then mm -hmm. obviously you in that same year came back just a little bit afterwards, which was really huge because it's like all these people that I used to watch as a little kid, like came back into the community over over you know, just for different yeah. circumstances. It was really sick. It was awesome. Well, I feel like Dokkan has become like a much better game in general. Like I don't even, I can't even recall what you would do in Dokkan Battle like years back. Like you would just kind of grind what you could. Um, yeah. But there was no challenging event, right? Like if you had the main, like even if you didn't even have the best units in the game and you went into any event, every event was easy. There was nothing, there's no challenge like at all. Mm -hmm. So like you would just summon, get the characters, showcase them, and uh, that's really about it. There was no event like that where you're yeah. like, oh, I'm, I may lose. Or if you did no items runs, like it was like a thing. It's like, dude, nobody uses items. Are you kidding me? Like you're just saving items for maybe use items to like nuke somebody, you know, try to get like a big damage stat. But mm -hmm. in terms of trying to survive in the game, like you were good, dude. Especially oh, yeah. like in like first Annie era, I remember like you had strength Gogeta. You could literally go strength Gogeta. Six Cybermen, and you'd be good. <laughs> like, you'd actually win the event. That Doesn't was, matter uh, how hard it was. Who was that? The Living Ichi? Was that the Living Ichigo who did that during uh, against like the Broly event? I think uh, that was one of his videos. I'm pretty sure. Possible, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, like, full he was. A, he was another YouTuber that I used to watch back in the day as well. Mm -hmm. I wasn't too familiar with his content. I didn't watch too much of his stuff, but like, yeah, he was mm -hmm. definitely one of the. He was definitely uh, an older Dokai YouTuber. It's just so insane to think about. But, uh, yeah, those are the OGs. Do you want to discuss like what happened? Uh, you know, why did you stop making content when you did? Yeah, so like there is a couple things. I guess we could go like over all of them, right? I've I've already talked about these things like enough times on stream and like on tweets. But at the time when I did leave, I didn't address everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the main reason was like circumstances, like in my in my personal life. Uh, I just didn't like basically at the time. Uh, I was doing a sales job, but the sales job was like very uh, like hit or miss. You know what I mean? So it wasn't consistent enough to bring me like a, you know, a sense of stability. And um, like I said, I was just coming out of high school. I think I was in first year. Yeah, I, I would have been first year uni uh, or college like for the Americans. And so I, I basically had no idea where I was going like with uh, with my life and and I was trying to decide exactly where I wanted to put my effort in terms of, you know, my day to day, because obviously like Dokkan is very consuming. And if you're doing content on top of that, like you're just in it, dude, like your mind is Dokkan, you dream Dokkan, you wake up, you like, you're eating breakfast and you're playing Dokkan. Uh, it's, it could be very consuming. Um, but of course, even though my channel was like monetized at the time and I was getting pretty decent views, like I would say like average, like 10, 15,000 views. Uh, some videos would sometimes hit like and go like crazy. Like I remember my LR Gohan video went really crazy. I'm uh, looking, man. Like a lot of this content is like hitting. <clears throat> a lot of your content from like six years ago, seven years ago, got mm -hmm. like maybe sixty-eight thousand views. Like uh, averaging maybe around the fifty k ish range. Like it's huge. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a look myself. Yeah, there was there was some big hitters, but I would say like consistency consistently. 
like if I upload a video, I would expect like, you know, like the 10, 15,000 views. Mm -hmm. But just to like give you guys an idea, like, I mean, you guys know how much Dokkan Battle Dragonstones costs, right? And if you're doing summon videos, like you're not making money, uh, you're not, you're not making any sort of profit is, yeah. is what I'll say. Like you, you get something uh, back in return. I was like grateful to be able to even have that opportunity. Uh, but with the money that I would spend on Dragonstones, there was just, <laughs> oh my God, like, dude, I would put like money on my credit card at the time. Right. And it wasn't even close. Like I wouldn't even say I could even get like one fourth of the money back in terms of YouTube revenue. Uh, but that was just, like the nature even to get one fourth of it back again, such a blessing. Like not a lot of people had that opportunity. Uh, and I didn't know exactly how to like treat the YouTube thing like a business. Like even while I was very active in the community, I would take like months off in between. Right. And then I would come back and be like, Hey guys, I'm back again. You know, like I probably had like seven videos saying I'm back. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, so I wasn't taking it like super seriously and trying to grow it or, or like treating it like a business. I truly was doing it mainly for like the enjoyment of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and it just got to a point where if I didn't put that time into YouTube and Dokkan, it would, uh, like if I didn't put the amount of time that I was putting into YouTube and Dokkan, um, like it wouldn't, I wouldn't be as engaged into it. So my personal life goals, uh, really change. And on top of that, there was one thing that happened. Um, so in 2017 around, I think it was like may or june uh there was a massive band wave now this band wave was uh directly related to uh, a bug that was in the game that would allow people to uh, i'm not exactly sure how but it would be like you could basically get dragon stones and like you could just keep getting dragon stones and some oh. people were like using this okay the the stone right. duping the stone duping yeah duping stones exactly that's what it was called yeah now uh there was like a bunch of YouTubers and I like were uh, working with this one individual um, that was on Facebook and he would all discounted stones and the way that he explained it to us. And at one point this was legit. I don't know at which point it switched into like a different system, but I have like some sort of idea, but I can't really pinpoint the months or the days after this long. Right? I don't have um, my, I had like a fake Facebook to, to communicate with the guy yeah uh because i don't want to expose that i'm like you know nichigo <laughs> yeah right so uh what he would explain is like he would be able to buy stones in a different region on the account and they would be cheaper so like at the time it was like maybe like if it was like a sale week it would be like 70 percent of the sale price right which was like yeah it made sense right um uh, still pretty expensive uh given the amount that you would buy and we weren't buying like crazy amounts like in, in the beginning it was like you know like 200 stones for yeah. like a summon video yeah, like that, like, or like stone. most yeah. people would do like single summons or something like that back then right it was like singles not really multis bro singles are the way man i still believe that but <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah he offered uh he offered this like service to us we did it and it was like good for like the first like, couple months like this was all in the 2017 era uh near the last few months of my channel or at least when i was active on my channel but then at one point, like he was able to offer like, like a thousand stones for like a hundred bucks or whatever it was. Right. And it, and the more stones you bought, the smaller the number would become. So it'd be like, if you bought like 2000 stones, it'd be like 180 bucks. If you bought like 3000 stones, it would be, um, uh, you know, whatever. The, the, basically the more you bought, the smaller the number. And at one point I did order 2000 stones and it was like a hundred and something USD. Um, that that's what I remember. So cheap, dude. That is so cheap. Yeah. I should have known, like, I should have just been, you know, a little bit more forefront, but I think I got like tantalized like very much. I was like 2000 stones. Right. And like at that time to do a thousand stone summon video for me was like very difficult. Right. Cause I was like basically broke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, in like a general sense right and yeah so it was like very like i in, in my mind like again like i can't really recall exactly what my mindset was but i can say i just got i think overly excited about it and i took the offer and yeah gives me the account back and uh, there's two thousand stones on it right two thousand something stones Mm -hmm. I didn't think uh, much of it. Um, then, you know, we did like, I think I didn't even do a summon video with those. I just did like some summons like off screen, like just to get some characters. Um, at the time, I think the uh, 
the Broly was out, the legendary, yeah, the LR strength Broly was out. And I was yeah. able to get a bunch of uh, copies of him. And that's where that video where I have like, uh, you know, like LR Broly rainbowed. And then like the, I don't know if I have him rainbowed, but I have like LR Broly and LR, the, the, I guess like the UR version or the TUR version of the LR Broly all on one team. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so again, made that video, all that stuff. But then uh, I got this message in my game, right? There was like this message that came up in the news and it was talking about a ban wave. And basically like on Twitter was explained that if anyone gets this message, it means you're getting banned, right? It's just like, you're, you're basically like, you know, you're going to go, right? And I tweeted it out. Like I took a screenshot and I tweeted it out. I'm like, I can't believe it. I, like I totally fell up here, right? Oh, sorry for swearing. No, that's okay. No, it's okay. But <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I, I totally messed up here. And yeah, it was just uh, it was just rough because that that was like my account that I started the YouTube channel with. Like yeah. if you go back to like the units on the account, I mean, all the units, you can refer to a summon video where we got them, uh, all the chases that we did on global. And yeah, so the global uh, account got banned. And once that got banned, it was like one of those like kind of things. I just kind of took it as a sign. I'd be like, yeah, you know, like I messed up here. Uh, this is my fault. And maybe this is it. like, yeah, maybe take it as a sign. It's time to kind of like move on to something else. Mm -hmm. um, so that on top of like life circumstances was just enough for me to be like, you know what, dude? Uh, like, I don't think I don't think I'm going to be at least coming back, at least not in, in, the, in the foreseeable like few months that were ahead at that time. I remember yeah. tweeting out like a few times. I'm like, hey, like I'll, you know, what if I started at rank one again or something like that? Like, I, I think the tweets would be there from 2017 or so. Um, so I always had like the idea of coming back. If there was like an opening in my, um, in my personal like circumstances, like I would always think about coming back, uh, but it never really came together, you know? And uh, even though I was playing the game a bit after that point, uh, eventually I just stopped playing the game as a whole. Like I wasn't even, yeah, I wasn't playing whatsoever. Uh, for like years years down the line uh and then uh yeah so that was basically the whole the whole story about why i, I left the i left the channel and i left dokon during that period as the years went on what made you want to come back into the community i know we me you briefly talked about this on mm -hmm. stream whenever you've popped in every so often but like what made mm -hmm. you want to come back like fully so like i said like over the years like it always comes back up in my mind right because when you get like a like a you know a youtube channel and at one point i think we did hit forty thousand subscribers or we were just really close to it like we were in the high 30s mm -hmm. uh like you have a community um and of course you know nostalgia is a crazy filter man like when you reflect back on things um yeah it's like you like you only you only remember the good times most of the times and honestly there was a lot of good times like i remember a lot of the youtubers i used to like work with on a day-to-day -day basis like I don't know if you remember Speedy SSJ or uh, Net5. Um, there was Final Fusion at the time. Mm -hmm. Animated Muscle was another one. Animated Muscle, uh, the, yeah. yeah. and then there was uh, The Warden. The I Warden. think his channel name was The Warden, but I just always called him Warden. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Warden. Yeah. There's just like a lot of good people that, um, you know, we would interact with. We would always have like chats and it, it, it was like a really, really good time. Um, and even now when I reflect on it, it was like fantastic. So I, there was always like this idea of like, oh, I wish I could like kind of come back and make this happen. Right. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I was very busy with work at the time. You know, I just got like a job that I was like really serious about. And then eventually like I left that job and, uh, you know, I started my own business, which if anyone started their own business, they know how crazy the first like few years are. And, uh, there's just no opening or time realistically for like other things. And I'm, I'm a person who doesn't play video games basically whatsoever. I say that, but like, you know, I have a seems to like come pop in here and there in my life. <laughs> no! Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, right right now. I'm clean. <laughs> I'm clean, bro. I'm clean. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't, I haven't played like League in a long time. But no. uh, other than League, there's no game that I like actually play. Like, in terms of like just chilling on it. I'm gonna, call you out on, I'm gonna call you out, Nichigo. I remember seeing you play League like less than a month ago. Okay, I remember. Yeah, that. yeah, you're right. The you're right. right. Back to you. Okay. It, it was a moment of weakness. I tried to play some ARAM. <laughs> then I played one game of Summoner's Rift, and I was like, Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> bro relapsed, man. He relapsed. Okay. it is a thing bro like any league no league player really quits like they just take breaks and then eventually you're like you know what dude i can handle it this time around 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. I started meditating. I can I can play League of Legends. Yeah, so like I, I wasn't really playing any sort of other game. Um maybe a little bit of Master Duel when it eventually came out, like in I think it was 21 or 22. Uh so yeah, like even even like Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel, it is a game in, at the end of the day, but it's not like a you know, like a console game or, you know, uh, a game like League of Legends where you're just fully engaged. It's just like a couple duels and then you can log off and you're good. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, in 2019, uh, I kind of had this one opening where I wanted to make a comeback uh, on YouTube and I kind of tried to. Uh, but as soon as I did, it's then I realized, like, I, as, like, circumstances came up, uh, that I wasn't ready for it. And then, you know, that completely failed. So I just kind of uh, let go of that 2019 comeback. Yeah. Uh, and then leading up to like the recent, uh, you know, this most recent comeback here, uh, I started playing a little bit of Dokkan Battle just on my phone myself. Like I like made an account, it's like level one or whatever. Hmm. And it was like extremely boring. I'm like, dude, like what, like, what do you do uh, at level one? Right. I'm not going to grind this game like this. So I, I stopped again. But I, I remember I was messaging like a few people that I knew like from back in the day and uh, one of them offered me an account that they had, right? It was just like a side, uh, I think, yeah, it was global. It was a side global account that they had with like a bunch of units on it. I didn't know what any of the units did or like what was good. I was just kind of looking at the characters. I'm like, oh my God, that tech Broly looks so sick. Like I want to see like his animations and stuff like that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, he was trash. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, he's on my case. Uh, yeah, so I started playing and then I really got into, uh, I got really into the red zones because I'm like, dude, this, I couldn't beat it. Like no matter what I did, I couldn't beat it. So like slowly and with every attempt, I started to learn. I started to actually read the character's abilities uh, and like started going on Dokkan Wiki. And eventually it was like, yeah, uh, I think I'm back into this. Like I'm playing, I'm playing Dokkan Battle, like for, for real. Uh, and like, you know, I think at the time there was uh, the New Year's banner and I summoned and I got the uh, physical God coup okay. and I try and I used the physical God coup and it was just such a good dude. Like, like when I would see Merge Zamasu like super attack me and then he would just dodge, man, that hit different. That yeah. hit so nice. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> all right, we, uh, we're, we're summoning now. Like, that's crazy. Cause that when the account that he gave me, like it had no stones on it. It just had like a bunch of units. Um, right. nothing crazy. I think it had like, uh, the GT duo, the Z duo at the time, uh, the tech world tournament Goku, uh, which was a good one too, but I didn't even use that Goku. Cause I'm like, yo, that's a base Goku. Why would I use them? Oh. But again, I didn't know. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Flop so hard. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was great he was great yeah little did i know like the earthbred fighters team was possibly the best team at the time <laughs> yeah. Alan and, would disagree. Uh, yeah um yeah so eventually kind of started playing the game and i when i realized like i was actually really enjoying the game mm -hmm. then like the idea of like oh is it possible to like possibly like my idea at the time like if you actually go on my channel like i made like a community post i'm like hey I, i'm like thinking of making a return or not thinking i'm like planning to make a return uh, to the channel via streaming because i'm like if i'm playing the game anyways like i could stream it and uh you know i think that could be pretty enjoyable and uh, that was like the initial plan just to come and just stream uh no like videos like stream and then just see where that kind of takes us mm -hmm. but it's more like if i'm playing the game anyways might as well do it live uh possibly build a community or rebuild a community and engage with some of like, the people that were there from back in the day uh yeah, and then slowly while, while I made some tweets and I started sending like uh, screenshots of like any summons or, um, you know, event runs that I was doing, uh, the support was like crazy, dude. Like way unexpected for someone that's been away for like six years, like literally six years, right? Mm -hmm. I just assumed that majority of those people are like gone and, and the majority of those people are gone in a, like realistically, but a, a good like base is still there right yeah. like some people that i talked to back in the day there's they're still there and i still like talk to them today uh some of them are even in my discord now um so yeah the the like the the support that i got really kind of like energized me so i'm like you know what the ninth anniversary is coming up on jp uh so might as well like try to make some content on jp see like what like how it is for me like can i 
like recapture uh i guess not the not the character like i wouldn't necessarily it's it's literally me like if you talk to me in real life i talk like this in general right but yeah if you like it's like about being like engaging in a video like i don't want to just go into the video and just be like hey guys what's up it's nichigo here coming at you with another like i i, I like <laughs> to give that kind of energy you know <laughs> yeah and and it, it could be like you know like difficult but i started recording some videos and it seemed like it was um it was like coming back to me mm -hmm. and uh like I, I i had a plan i'm like okay if i'm gonna upload videos maybe i could do like one a week but like really get some editing done on it right like i don't want to just uh do like my old style where it was just record the game slap some music in the background uh very minimal editing if any uh and in uh was it the outro at the end like something like that like i wanted to do like actual like edited videos because like i'm not someone who's uh super knowledgeable on the game at this point right like i'm still gathering like still catching up realistically right yeah uh so I, I would like like for the videos to be as engaging as possible for people so editing would really help with that uh and um yeah so dabbled in like with a few videos here and there uh summon videos i did a couple different styles of uh, showcases and honestly like they they did very well for you know like one of them i think got like like 2000 views another one got like 4000 views uh, which is like crazy again because these are like my first uploads in like six years um i remember telling uh my partner here i was like dude if we can get like a thousand views holy shit i'd be like so happy right <laughs> and then like i woke up the next day and it was already over like a thousand which was like i'm like dude okay there's something here yeah uh there's definitely like something here there's like people at least want to watch it to like a certain level mm -hmm. and uh yeah, that got me really excited. So I was uploading during the ninth anniversary quite a lot, and uh, the videos uh, the videos were fun to make. I worked with like multiple different editors, like uh, Alpal is one of them, right? Uh, Subaru is another one, uh, and there's this other guy named uh, Nichigo X. Um, okay. And somehow that it's just not a copy account, of though. my name. It's just an alt account. Dude, I swear it's not me. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome, awesome guy though. Like helped me with uh, the shorts. Like he was editing my shorts for me. And uh, yeah, like, so I was able to work with like some nice, uh, you know, some good editors, like much more skilled than I could be when it comes down to editing. And uh, the videos came out like honestly better than I expected, like in terms of the quality, uh, you know, even the thumbnails, like I really like that thumbnail style that we have for like the summon videos. Oh yeah. Um, and yeah, that was like working with Subaru, like we came up with it uh, uh, together, but he like perfected it at the end. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, like we're i'm still trying to like find out exactly what i want to do like i know i'm i may do like event runs but i don't know if i'm going to do like showcases of characters anymore because i feel like everybody's doing showcases of characters with private servers and they're able to get like the full scope of the character out like three days before i even have access to like summoning for the character yeah and that's if i even get the character when i summon yeah when it comes to dokkan content i feel like showcases are honestly on their way out right like Unless, mm -hmm. unless you're the truth dt or like yeah Dokkan exactly. world at this point like there's literally zero point in doing showcases i i feel like showcases are so they're so overdone and unless there's an audience like particularly looking for those and those guys are you know like i said the truth dt and uh Dokkan world nobody else is really gonna there's no one's gonna go to anyone else just looking at everyone else compared to the truth dt and Dokkan world it's like mm -hmm. it's not even close those guys <laughs> I almost want to say those guys have the monopoly on showcase videos, which sucks for sure. Yeah, you know, but it's also kind of fair enough, right? Because yeah, like, sure. Dokkan World has been doing videos like since I think I was doing videos, maybe even mm -hmm. uh, before, or just after. I don't know exactly, you know, the dates, but yeah, like I, I remember seeing Dokkan World's videos from like back in the day. Uh, Truth, I never saw. Like, I guess Truth came up like a little bit just after me, um, or if he was, maybe that was like you know he was very low key at the time, mm -hmm. and. Yeah, like truth is like full game knowledge like when you hop into the video like you're going in for like his knowledge like the way he talks like the way he presents is like fantastic and of course there's a lot of lore on his channel like if you know you know right for sure yeah and, and his personality is uh, great too i think that's what really helps people stick around yeah no his personality is like fantastic right like you just watch it like he, he like you see he starts a video calling us kids and i'm yeah. like yeah that's fair <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah i mean 
uh, when I got back into Dokkan in like the recent times, like he was like the videos I would watch, right? Like if you wanted to learn something about a unit, you go to a truth video and you learn about it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's so many guys doing that already. Like even Minato, like I go to his videos too. Mm -hmm. And um, I think uh, I think there's definitely room for him to, you know, t take some of that showcase stuff uh, uh, for himself. Because I think he presents things that are very well. He gives like build ideas and sometimes they're different than the truth builds, which is like yeah. good because a lot of people, you know, you, I mean, you could tell like sometimes like truth will upload a video and then everybody's sort of like on the same page as him, like regardless of what the meta is like in the game, uh, mm -hmm. it does sound like they're just bringing up the same points that truth did. Yeah. Uh, but I find like Minato like has uh, some, some like unique, like, a, like his own unique view, like he's very knowledgeable in the game himself. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I feel like there's a lot of guys like doing those that kind of content, and for me, like that's uh, even though I would love to do showcases, I'm not really. It's not really like the, the videos I have most fun with. Um, right. So I'm okay to kind of let them go. Like more like fun content. Not like I don't want people to think that if they come to my channel, they'll, you know, they're gonna get all the knowledge in Dokkan. It's more right. like you're gonna have fun like with the with the video and that, so that's, and that's honestly the, about. that's the direction i feel like if anybody is going to get into dokkan content that's the direction they need to go like that's the direction appel's going that's the mm. direction like uh yeah you know, nanogenics and diddy sauce have been uh, have been bringing the community into right like i think that's a really mm -hmm. good idea like just straying away from just like straight up dokkan content you know turning on obs and be like okay guys welcome back to another video you know we're gonna sit here for yeah, an yeah, hour yeah. And, and record content right like i there are so many more things and so much potential i think you could do for the game right other than just recording yeah. gameplay or not recording gameplay but just like straight up recording gameplay and nothing else right uh so i like that idea i think that's a really good idea to get a really good way to go towards if if you ever find a way to condense any of that like that's gonna make for a banger video i think